what's up? It's Nika with Fashionika. Long time no see. I am doing my monthly game of thrifts for you guys, but this time it has a little bit of a twist. Instead of doing the normal thing, aka going to a thrift shop and actually like going thrifting, I thought it'd be fun to change it up and actually go thrifting through my closet. A lot of you guys are always asking me where I get my pieces from, and honestly, it's like, I don't know how to answer it. It's just a whole smorgasbord of everything. Like, I get my pieces literally from everywhere. Honestly, I buy these pieces thinking I'm going to wear it, and then I just end up not, too, because I work full-time, and a lot of these pieces that I have, I typically can't really wear to work because it does have a dress code, or it's just too fancy for work. Anyways, with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into this rack and find some pieces that some of you guys may like. So starting off with the first piece that I picked out for you guys, it is this long, I want to say it's like a spaghetti strap blouse. It has like buttons going all the way down and it has some slits on the side. And funny thing is, this one actually is thrifted. I thrifted this at Buffalo Exchange, I want to say maybe two years ago. Um, yeah, and I styled it with like blue high waist shorts and then I tucked this part in and then had one side hanging out and I just thought it was so cool. What drew me to this piece when I purchased it was the fact that it's just a really whimsical blouse. You can wear it so many different ways. You can have it like completely unbuttoned or you can have it like half buttoned or you can have it all the way buttoned. So there's different ways that you can style this and that's why I thought it was pretty versatile. So yeah, I thought this was a really cool piece that someone can definitely add into their closet and style it so many different ways. It's definitely like a spring summer piece and I can see someone wearing it like alone with something high waisted and just rocking this outfit. But yeah, I didn't really show enough love to this so definitely whoever wants to snag this totally can. This item is actually something that I really love. I've only worn it one time however just because the thing is I have so many bombers that this has just been kind of neglected and it makes me really sad because I think the pastels are very on trend for the spring especially with the athletic stripes on the collar and um, the bottom and on the cuffs so I just thought it was it's a cool piece it has like that silky material with a white piping on the sides and um, it even has pockets too but yeah like I said I have so many bombers and the thing is like I mean as you can see like I have so many pastel bombers as it is like even this one. I haven't even worn this one. It's just a really unique piece, um, especially with color wise. The pastels are very, very on trend for the spring. So, yeah. So this next piece is actually one that I'm like questioning if I should or not. It's a star denim distressed jacket. Um, yeah, it's just amazing. First off, stars are completely like trending right now. They've been trending for a few months. I want to say maybe even like the past six months. It's not like new, but it's just kind of coming back. And uh, like as you can see, I personally love stars. I'm like wearing them on my neck now. I'm putting stars on my Instagram pictures, just drawing them in because they just make a picture really fun. I can totally see someone styling it with like the Canadian tuxedo look, aka denim on denim. I style it with like a white t-shirt underneath, just throw on black jeans and mules and you're good to go. I actually styled it on my Instagram for you guys for a little sneak peek of this Game of Thrifts episode. So yeah, stars can kind of get like tacky, but I think this one was tastefully made because it just looks very vintage like. It has distressing all over and there's buttons and pockets and closures and there's no pockets like to put your hands in, which is unfortunate, but at least they added pockets right here on the breast. It's a denim that would look amazing during the summertime. starting to notice the theme of this outerwear of uh, Game of Thrifts. My apologies. I'm literally just picking out pieces that I don't think I'm going to wear that often. So, um, anyways, 
This is the next piece. It's a beautiful olive utility jacket and what got me is the fact that there are patches on the side. Like I said, I'm obsessed with stars and I haven't even worn this yet, hence the tag right here. I honestly bought this thinking like, I'm just gonna like wear this whenever I want to bum it. I think this gives a really nice menswear vibe to it. So even with jeans and a white t-shirt or just really anything, I think it's just gonna be a really easy piece to throw on. It's a little bit thinner, you know? So it's definitely gonna be lightweight for those days when you're gonna be sweating in the summertime. So it's a great piece to add to someone's wardrobe if they're on the hunt for a utility jacket. So this next one is probably one of the prettiest dresses I own. I'm obsessed with things that are embroidered at the moment. Literally, like, just give me something embroidered and I will wear it religiously. However, this one, obviously I can't wear this when I'm at work because this is just like a really nice dress. Yes. I still has the tag on it, but I did style this on in my holiday lookbook and I threw it on with a fur jacket to make it a little bit more winter appropriate. However, I think this is definitely more spring appropriate because first off, it's like a nice halter and it has the beautiful floral embroidery. And I love the A-line skirt and I really do love the material of this too. It's like a neoprene fabric so it's stretchy. If someone thinks they're gonna wear this a bunch, like please take this, show it some love, show it to me on Instagram because honestly this is such a beautiful dress that needs to be shown love. So this next item is this beautiful black jumpsuit, but wait, it's not your typical jumpsuit because it is a culotte pant, and I just thought this was so freaking cute. It's easy to throw on too because it has this um, silver zipper on the back, so you just unzip it, chuck it on, and then zip it back up. So it's super easy to just throw on. The reason I don't wear it is because it's a lot of material, and for me, I'm pretty petite, so like even though it is still a culotte on me, I just felt like really small wearing it. But yeah, that's why I styled it with nude heels to elongate my height. And then you can even style it with like a necklace and a leather jacket to give that extra little oomph. But yeah, definitely still love this piece, but don't think I'll be wearing it anytime soon. I also think that it's pretty cool that they have the flaps going down at the back, so it really does look like a two-piece, however, it's not. It's a jumpsuit. I wasn't planning on doing shoes in this Game of Thrifts, however, I do remember that I wanted to add these in because I haven't even worn these. I wore it one time for a photo shoot and it was like in the grass. It is basically brand new. To be honest, I don't wear heels. For example, this one, I'm like in love with these because this has like the smallest heel ever so I can still wear this to work. But these are just like a no-go for me. I cannot wear this to work and think that everything is fine and dandy. Like these will be definitely uncomfortable on me for an eight hour shift. You can wear it with jeans because of the color. I think they're very versatile. You can even throw it on with like a beautiful floral maxi for the springtime, wear it to Easter or like a spring party or a baby shower or something. They're easy to throw on, they have that back zipper, so it's just going to be an easy pair that you might want to style. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little twist of a game of thrifts, and if you did, go ahead and like down below, and also be sure to subscribe to me, that would really mean so, so much. I totally appreciate it. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!